Welcome back Pez Collectors! Today's video is going to be all about Easter Bunny Pez. Did you know that they started making Easter Bunny Pez back in 1958? And they were one of the first Pez dispensers with the character head actually on top that Pez made. It's pretty amazing to me. I do have that one here I'm going to show you. They're still making Easter Bunny Pez. We just got a new one this year in 2023 so there's a lot of them sitting in front of me here so we better get started. first bunny pez I want to share with you is the bunny a pez dispenser and like I said at the very beginning this one was first released back in 1958 and I just love this pez and I was just holding it here realizing that my nail polish matches the stem like freakishly perfect <laughs> but maybe that's why I like this nail polish color so much I remember the first time I saw that pez made these like purple lavender colored stems and I just thought that these were like so pretty. I don't know, like you don't see a lot of Pez with these colored stems except for like the bunnies or the FEBs. I'm sure there's other ones I'm not thinking of right now but I'm in I'm in bunny world right now so. <laughs> but this bunny A Pez dispenser is very very cute. <laughs> the bunny on this Pez dispenser is very small and then it's got the really nice lavender purple colored stem. It looks so nice. But get a good look at the head there because Bunny A and Bunny B look really similar. They both have like this ivory off-white colored head. They're both like small heads like this. You can tell Bunny A apart because this one has like a bunch of details carved into it. There's no paint on it. There's just a bunch of details which I think is really cool. And this one has like the mouth closed and the little whiskers. So take note of that because Bunny B looks a lot like this one. But I do not have a Bunny B pest dispenser in my collection. I've been trying to find one for sale for the last couple weeks so I could have one for this video. But I just haven't been able to find one in like the condition that I want. So Bunny A. <laughs> so here's a picture of a Bunny B pest dispenser. Since it looks a lot like this one, I think that's still pretty good that you get to see it I guess. <laughs> The Bunny B Pez dispenser was first released back in 1962, so the Bunny A Pez wasn't made for very long. The updates to it, because it still has the same like color, like ivory, off-white head, but this time it has like little buck teeth hanging out, and then there's no details on the side of the head like this one has. It's just a smooth head all around there. So it gets a lot less detail. It does look different once you have them side by side. So here's a side by side comparison of the Bunny A pest dispenser and the Bunny B pest dispenser so you can see the differences like and you're, and you're gonna go oh yeah those do look different Aaron. Because <laughs> that's what I say when I look at them. Next we're moving back a year to 1961 and there's different references I use to you know find the details and the years like pest.com and uh, some online databases and just looking online that I use to find my dates for these videos. And none of the websites I use categorize any of these bunny pets the same way that I am today. Pretty close, but I'm making up my own like organization on these because I like to go by each year that the different molds were released. That's how you go A, B, and C. So this really should be bunny B, but everyone calls this not even bunny B. <laughs> They call it uh, just a die cut bunny, but in like date order, it should be bunny B, this should be bunny A, and then the one I just showed you should be bunny C. But I'm gonna call this bunny C for today. But that's not really important. I just use the letters after the bunnies just so you can know that it's a different mold change. So that's all you really need to know. So this one I'm gonna call bunny C, and this is the die cut bunny. And this is one of my favorite pets probably I have in my collection for uh, you know just like an Easter Pez for a die cut because check out the stem. I love this thing. So see how there's a bunny with a little paintbrush die cut in the stem and you can see through and then the sleeve color is like a yellow. Ooh, it always cracks when I open it or makes like a spring noise. <laughs> it's a yellow sleeve and oh look it has a brown candy pusher in there. Isn't that just super cool? And the facial expression on this thing, it's a little like wicked and freaky. <laughs> but it's also kind of cute at the same time. I don't know. This bunny Pez has a look on his face like, I'm gonna bring you some Easter eggs to your yard. <laughs> 
but you better keep one eye open tonight. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of fun at the same time. But I do love these die cut stems. I might have all the die cut stems now you can get for, you know, a Pez with the character head. You can see that they look like the heads are about the same color, but they're not. The die cut one is a little bit more yellow than the, like the ivory off-white one. I should have pointed out this one here, it has just the plastic mechanism in it to open the head, but this one has the metal pin. But the metal pin ones, that's like the original way that Pez made the heads open. Oh my gosh, I don't like pulling this one back. <laughs> the ears are so fragile looking on this, so you have to be real careful with it. Even this one, like the ears, I don't know how these are still intact over all these years. Hopefully I don't knock these over today. <laughs> I should tilt this one a little bit so you can see the die cut. So now we're gonna move all the way up till 1990. And that's when this Bunny D Pest dispenser was released. And this one's still super cute. <laughs> I like this one a lot still. It has just like a simple elegance to it, but it's way more modern. It's so simple. It kind of reminds me of, you know, these Pez, but the simplicity of it and the modern look of it, just it's just so cute. <laughs> This one has just the white head and the really light pink stem. This one can come in like some different color variations and a lot of these I'm showing you today do have some color variations but I do not have them all in my collection so I'm just showing off the ones that I have. But this one I've seen online that it might come in like a more like ivory color head but that kind of makes me question because I see Pez that are like ivory heads but sometimes I'm like did someone smoke or was that sun damage or sometimes the white just yellows on its own um, over time because that's how like the white plastic like decomposes on itself. I kind of question that as well so when you buy white pest dispensers especially like older ones take that in consideration that that might be why it's yellowing but super cute. <laughs> I should mention that I'm not even going to show any fat ear bunnies in this video. Those were first released back in 1963 and I want to make a whole video showing fat ear bunnies. That video will be out next week just in time for Easter. <laughs> I do have a whole bunch of fat ear bunnies sitting right here. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It has like a wonky eye on this side. <laughs> it just gives this little bunny so much personality. I mean how can you not fall in love with this little face? <laughs> so really it should be like uh that, but I'm not even including the fat ear bunnies in this video yet so there's a lot of them and I want to cover them more in detail than just toss them in this video because I think they deserve their own video and oh did you see my chicken egg picture right here I still have some for sale I've been selling them and I'm only gonna make 25 of them those chicken egg pez appeared in my video showing all the chicken egg pez which are still sitting up here <laughs> So if you want to buy one of these and add it to your collection, you can hang it on your wall in your Pez room or just in your house somewhere. It's going to look really nice hanging up. <laughs> but if you want to buy one, the link is down below in the description or you can just go check out my website. I do have a website now. It's AaronCollectsPez.com. I have some merch on there so you can buy like t-shirts and sweatshirts. There's some cool mugs on there. Like I have some Aaron Klux Pez mugs and I have some merch for our live stream with uh, like me and Greg and Clover all drawn out like all mugs or some t-shirts so if you want to buy any of those items it really does help support the channel I don't make hardly any money here on YouTube I finally just was able to monetize my channel just a couple months ago so you know any extra additional support really really helps like you don't even understand how much I appreciate it when people buy my art for one I love selling art and making art <laughs> and two it helps support my channel here so that's it. That's my little sales pitch. Let's get back to these bunny puss. <laughs> and thanks to everybody who has bought one of these. Really, really appreciate it. Like, it means a lot to me. Next up, we're moving up to bunny e pest dispensers. And this one was first released back in 1999, but I don't think that this is the 1999 version. It does have a 7.5 patent number on it, but I was looking up some pictures. But the one from 1999 looks like the color of the eyes were like a light blue. But Pez re-releases this again in 2009, which I'll talk about that again here soon. But this one's really nice. And if you like this mold, then you're going to love all the ones that are coming up because there's a lot of these. <laughs> and they're all different colors and different ways you can buy them. And I wasn't going to show any of the packaging up 
in the front of this video. I'm going to save it for the end. So if you want to see some of these Pez and their packages, then at the end of the video, I'll show all the package variations that I have for all the Pez I have today because I do have quite a lot. I just want to go through them really quick and I think that'll be faster. If you hear weird noises, that's Clover under the desk. <laughs> Clover, are you awake? It's kind of late here, so usually I film myself earlier in the day and she's sleeping in my office, but tonight she wanted to come in here with me. <laughs> you okay, baby? Also in 1999, we got this same bunny e pest dispenser and this one has a light pink stem and the light colored pink ears as well the face looks really similar with the coloring but once I show all these bunnies at the end of each like letter I'll show the side-by-side -side comparison because I think that'll help you so you can easily compare the colors side by side I think that'll really help next up I do not have this bunny pest dispenser and I thought maybe I might have the crystal series here but I don't and in my chicken egg video, I was saying maybe I had the crystal chick. Well, I forgot to even look when I published that video, <laughs> but I do not have this series. So I do have the panda from that because I did buy it separate because I love pandas. <laughs> so I was easily able to find that, but I do not have this bunny Pez, but it looks just like this one. But instead of having the white head, it has the clear crystal head, which is really great. And the crystal, Easter Pez, I guess the the lamb, chick, and the bunny, and the panda were all released in 2000. And you could only get those from the Pez mail away forms. So that's why I thought I had them because I have a box full of uh, some of the Pez that still are in their boxes from Pez from the mail away forms. So I had to go look through those and I do not have that crystal set, which I wish that I did. So I'm gonna have to find those for sale like really soon because I really, really want those. <laughs> So like I said, this one comes back around, I might have said 2009, but it comes back in 2008. And this is the actual 2008 version. Pretty sure, because this is the one on Pez.com's website. It has the nice blue eyes, the blue stem. This is the same chocolate bunny from 2009. See how it has the little black eyebrows on it? And then in 2010, Pez released this Dylan's Candy Bar gift set. And inside there, is this Pez dispenser here, the one I just showed you? See how it has the little white eyebrows? It has like the little buck tooth hanging out. It's the chocolate head. And a light pink stem. And then it also came with this one in the box set. And it's the white headed bunny. And it has a little buck teeth. And the pink ears and a blue stem. But that's the only place you could get that white head bunny. Since I don't have that box set in my collection which I should have bought it. It was on eBay like a couple months ago. I kept it on my watch list and I was like, oh, I think I have that, I think I have it. And then I started doing my video research even more. I didn't buy it and by that time it was sold out on eBay. So, so hopefully this picture really shows you what it looks like. I think it still, it still works. But this is the same bunny that you can get in that box, but you can also, I guess, get it outside of that box too because I do have it. Oh, there is another one I don't have, <laughs> but I do have the mini, version of it so I guess I kind of have it I don't know so just pretend that this is on a regular size yellow stem this is another chocolate bunny this is a Pez International release only this was first released back in 2016 this one has the black eyebrows a little pink tongue sticking out it's so cute I did just recently get this so I don't think you've seen this on the channel here I think I opened it on my live stream just this last week so if you watch our live streams every Saturday You'll see me unbox all my new Pez on my live streams with uh, my husband Greg, which is a lot of fun. I need to look for this one as well. I didn't even realize that this one was a bunny to buy as a full size bunny. So now I do and now I need to find it. So if you have one of these for sale, let me know as well. You're probably thinking, Erin, you didn't even like prepare for this video, but I did end up buying like four or five of these bunnies that I didn't even have. So I don't know why I was slacking on bunnies so much. Because these are so cute, but the variations of these, they just look so similar. I'm pretty sure I probably went to the store and was like, oh, that's another chocolate bunny. That's another vanilla bunny or whatever. <laughs> I was probably like, I don't need those. And I probably did. So it's my own fault. <laughs> I do have a whole bunch of them, I think, going on now. So I think I was just missing like these, these few years here. Next up, this Bunny e Pest dispenser was first released back in 2018. And it does have really light pink ears. A really pretty purple stem, same blue eyes, 
And the nose on this is a lot lighter than the previous couple that I've shown you as well. So it's like the light pink ears and nose combo. Oh, and I did make a video showing all the little bunny pet dispensers that exist. I think all the Easter mini pets, I think even that exist. So that was a lot of fun. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below in the description here. You can just go search on my channel, uh, mini Easter pets, or it's probably just a few videos back because I just made it like a couple weeks ago, I think. In 2004, we got these Dylan's candy bar pets and there's four of them in this series. These are called Jeffrey the Bunny. I guess they're not technically Easter bunnies, but they're still bunnies used with the same bunny E mold for the head. And so I thought that these would be really great to add to the video. And this one has the red stem. And then let me show you the stem colors and I'll go over them at the end here. There's the yellow stem. There's a light blue stem. This blue is so pretty too. These colors are a little bit more vibrant. That's why they don't really go with like the Easter colors but this one does. <laughs> this one's on a light pink stem. So these were released on cards only and you can only get them at the Candies Dylan Bar just like the box set I previously showed you. But the card graphics are really cool. I did not bring them up to show you because that era of cards, the bubbles pop off really easy. So I was like, I'm not even gonna bring those up. <laughs> so if I maybe go down with my camera and take a video of them, I'll add them in the video here, but if not, I'll put a really nice picture here on the screen that you can see what the cards look like. Because if you are a card collector, like I like a lot of cards, then you might want to pick these up on cards. But just be warned that the bubbles pop off on those cards really easy. It's like the F.L. Swartz ones, these Dylan's candy bar ones. A lot of the cards from that same like early 2000s, the bubbles just pop off, especially in shipping. So the people might have them and the bubbles on, but once you get it in the mail, you open up the box, the bubble will just be popped off and then you're just like, oh, like what did I just spend my money on? <laughs> Cause that does happen. You have to be careful. But take a closer look at this one even. Like it has like white eyebrows on top, which is new. Even like the facial expression is different, like the eyes. So here you go, this is the Dylan's candy bar one and this is the regular chocolate bunny, I guess. And see how the facial expressions are really different? I don't know, it just looks so different. The eyebrows are different. Like the nose shape is a little different. Even the way that they painted the whiskers on are different. The little book tooth sticking out looks a little smaller, but it is the same mold. Clover went back to sleep under there. <laughs> and then in 2010, we got this Bunny E Pest dispenser and it's pretty much the same. This time, instead of having like a little tongue or mouth open look to it, it has little buck teeth. <laughs> it also has white whiskers and the eyes are a little smaller. There you go, there's a side-by-side -side comparison. In 2011, we got this Bunny E Pest dispenser. It's the same one. It's just that this one is on a green stem this time. This one does have really nice graphics on the card. I hate to open it, but I think I bought this one to open. <laughs> just looking around here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought this one to open, so. No one's played with it yet, but this is the same one. See how it has the buck teeth. The really nice green stem. This one is really pretty colors as well. I like the chocolate head and the green stem. Next up in 2004, we got this Bunny F Pest Dispenser and see how some of the years are overlapping again. How you can have two bunnies out in one year. <laughs> but this one's pretty cool and this one does have some variations I saw. And I think I do have this one as well. This one's on card. See how the eye colors are different, like a lighter blue and a darker blue. I think there might be even one more color variation on these blue eyes as well. I might have it look around here because I do have some in packages. So eye color variations are something you can look for. But this is part of the Hippity Hoppity Pez line. So you might see some people call these the Hippity Hoppity Pez series, but I'm going to call it the Bunny F because it's technically the next mold in line that is released. So that's how I go about it at least. It's a little creepy, but kind of cute at the same time. <laughs> also, in the same Hippity Happy series as the Creepy Egg Baby. I do have to bring that one up, which sits behind me. 
there you go. There's the creepy egg baby for you. <laughs> we'll put that one up here, not facing me. <laughs> In 2013, we got this Bunny G pet dispenser, and oh my gosh, how cute. One little ear is flopped over. <laughs> this one has the gray head and the nice lime green stem, I'm gonna say. Really, kind of a bright green. It's really pretty. And oh, Pez must really like these because in 2016, we got this one with the white head and then the green stem, which the green stems are the same one here, the same color green. And this one was released in 2018, another Bunny G pest dispenser, but this time it has the tan head and the light pink stem. And I did buy this one to open, so let's open it. <laughs> I hate opening these old cards. This one does have the two times the candy, which is really fun. So if you're newer to pest collecting, around the 2000s, maybe the later 2000s teens, that what you call it, <laughs> this was released in 2018. So up until at least 2018, like if you went to Targets, I think sometimes Walgreens or maybe Walmart, they would sell these two times the candy packs. So you get six packs of candy for your holiday Pez. And it was just like Halloween, Christmas, and then Easter would have these. Too bad the candy is expired. <laughs> or maybe it's not. It's 2018. So there you go. Take a closer look at the Bunny G Pez dispenser outside the card. This one's really great. And I never opened this one because I have it in a tube and I guess I only bought the one so I thought I might as well buy one so I can open it and put it on my shelf. So my bunnies are multiplying. That's how it works, right? <laughs> this is another Bunny G pest dispenser and this was released in 2001 and this is a light pink head with a darker pink stem. This one's really great. I do like this one a lot. I did buy another one of these this year just because it is so cute. <laughs> So they're still selling this one at stores this year even. In 2019 we got this Bunny H pet dispenser. So look, it's another bunny mold. This one's super cute. It reminds me of the sitting Care Bears or the sitting Hello Kitty Pez. It's so cute. It's a little bunny sitting on its tushy there. <laughs> got the gray bunny head and then the really nice yellow stem. The color on this one is just really great. I know I go back and forth with my mom. <laughs> I don't know why this is my mom. I think she was shopping for me last year. But she always says that this is like a blue bunny, but I always say it's gray. So what color do you call this? I don't know, but it's really pretty and I like the like color combo on this. It looks really nice. And yes, when you do have family members or friends that know you collect Pez, you get phone calls when they're out of stores going, hey, do you have this bunny? And you're like, Oh, you mean the gray bunny? And they're like, no, the blue bunny. And you're like, no, the gray bunny. And they're like, no, the blue bunny. It happens. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for shopping for Pez for me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, here's another Bunny H Pez dispenser. This one has the white bunny sitting down again. And this stem is a really nice green. It's different than the other greens we've seen here. It looks a lot like this uh, one with the buck teeth but it might be slightly different. It might be just a tad darker, but it looks a lot like that one. This one, there you go. It's like a lighter green, just for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, in case you're wondering. And then this year in 2023, we got this Bunny H Pest dispenser. And this one has the same little gray bunny on top, but this one also, this time has the green stem. We're moving up to the Bunny Eye Pest Dispenser. And this one was first released back in 2021 and it's still being sold today in stores. It might be called the Sitting Bunny or the Fluffy Bunny or just the Bunny Eye Pest Dispenser. Instead of sitting on its like little legs, it's just sitting on its feet like a bunny would actually sit because bunnies don't sit like this. Maybe cartoon bunnies do? Maybe cats do? I don't know. <laughs> you know Care Bears do for sure. But this one looks more like the bunny you find out in my backyard. I do have a little resident bunny that lives in my backyard I like a lot. <laughs> but isn't that cute? I like this one a lot. When this one was first released in 2021, I was like, that is super cute. This has a really nice, like light purplish gray stem. Another, like maybe a, is it blue or is it gray or is it purple? <laughs> Another weird color, kind of like this uh, bunny head. It has like a grayish blue tint to it, if you ask me. Hashtag butt check there. It has a little 
fuzzy bunny tail. None of these other ones have a little fuzzy bunny tail, but this one does. That makes it so cute. <laughs> So the next ones I want to show you real quick are some of these plushy keychains and I thought I couldn't end the video without showing you these. This one's a white bunny and it has a light pink pez down its little stomach but this is so cute. I also have this light pink plush keychain as well. It has a uh, pez down the stem in the same like light pink color. This is like the all light pink color one. And then I recently got this one. It's like a purple bunny color. This one's so pretty. I saw this on eBay and I was like, I need that. This is going to look really great hanging on my Pez rack. My new Pez rack that I just uh, built in my last video, if you haven't checked that out already. I love my new uh, Pez racks that I got. I'm going to be able to display so many more Pez now. Like Pez on cards or in packages. But I also got this one and I'm glad I did because these two are different even though they're both little white bunnies. They look different. A different color pink on their stomach different like little facial expressions and what do you call it when the plush the plush design I guess I don't know but these are so cute <laughs> I never really know what to do with these keychains but they do look really good hanging up on my Pez rack because they just display so nice in these little boxes I like the packaging on these as well so you can't open them <laughs> I think I showed you all the variations here that I have and I showed you the pictures of the ones I do not have so I need to shop for those after I'm done making this video tonight, if I don't fall asleep. But I do have some of these Pez in packages I thought I'd share with you if you like package variations. I do not have them all. So I do have this Bunny E Pez dispenser. It's probably the 2008 version, but I love the graphics on this card. Here's that same Bunny E and it's on this card instead. Another card variation, this is the two times the candy one again with the bunny and the little chick. I also have this Bunny e Pest dispenser and it's on the Hippity Hoppity or Easter Hippity Hoppities card because I think there's one that just says Hippity Hoppities. This one's the Easter Hippity Hoppities. It has a little daisy on it. Chocolate bunnies on the green stem. This one says two times the candy. Pow! This is just the regular one without two times the candy. It says Hippity Hoppities on it. Pez always uses I think that term Hippity Hoppities throughout the years for their Easter Pez but they actually had the Hippity Hoppities series as well. The Pez on this card are from the Hippity Hoppity series and this might be my new favorite card of Pez that I have. <laughs> this is a Hippity Hoppity Pez. Look, it's the creepy egg baby. I should get all of them on these cards. I also have the Bunny F Pez on this card. And see how it doesn't even say Hippity Hoppity? It just has some eggs this time, which this is the Hippity Hoppities. Oh, here's one. That's a cool card variation here. So this one says Hippity Hoppities and this one does not. Here we go, this is a Bunny G Pest dispenser again. Two times the candy, it's the same card. But I also have it on this card, which is really cute. It has like a little chick and some eggs. Here's a newer card, since this is a newer Pez. I think this might be the same cards they still make. Let me know in the comments if you know that. I think that's these are the same ones you can still get. This one says includes seasonal candy flavors. It has vanilla cupcake, which is the seasonal candy flavor, which is really good. The grape and cherry they always make. But that's a cool card to have. This is the Bunny H Pez on that same card. Not to get too ahead of myself, but this is a Bunny I on the same card. I also have this Bunny H on this one. It has two times the candy. And I don't know, did I show you these? <laughs> this is that same Bunny E. Uh, this one with the photorealistic look to it. This one has two dimes of candy. I don't know if I showed these. I put them all back but there you go. These are newer. I did have to buy a small lot on eBay in order to get some of these to open. There you go. And then I also have, ooh, don't knock the Pez over here, some tubes. So I have the Bunny G Pez dispenser in this tube with these graphics. And you'll see how the graphics you know, coincide with the car graphics as well. So the same years that they make these, they come out with them in the tubes. I also have this Bunny G Pest dispenser in the tube. See how the graphics are different. There's also this Bunny G Pest dispenser in the same 
uh, package is the first one. This one says 40% more candy, and I didn't point out, but this one also says 40% more candy in it. So that's kind of like the two times the candy pack variation for your tubes. <laughs> well, this one's really cool. This is the Bunny G, but look, it's got the hippity hoppities graphics. Okay, I might need to find all these in tubes as well. I might have some, because I do have some more tubes, but I only grabbed the bunny ones for this video. This one as well, I think this one was first released only in tubes, if I'm not mistaken, and then it came out in cards. This is the bunny eye. These are the only bunnies and tubes that I have, so I don't know why I don't have more bunnies and tubes, but maybe this is all that were made for tubes, because I don't think they made these tubes back too early for like the early 2000s. So then that's why none of these other bunnies are found in these tubes. This is like a newer thing for the later later 2000s. <laughs> From like, uh, I don't know, 2010 and up. I'm not sure what year the tubes were first released. I always want to look that up, but I don't think I ever remember to do it. So if you know, let me know in the comments. That's something uh, I think I would like to know. I do have some of these bunnies in poly bags. This is a bunny F again, but it's in like the purple lavender color poly bag. And I love the Easter colors for the bags because they're just like pastels and I don't know, they're so cute. It really uh, really goes along with the Easter theme. Oh, <gasps> oh yeah, look at that. Wait, it's an egg baby. I could put this in my counter box. I'm gonna put that back there. So I have that counter box that Greg got me on eBay for like a dollar and it has one lamb in it so I might swap that out. <laughs> I don't have any bunnies right now. This is the other color variation for like an Easter peasant package that you can find. This one's a lamb. It's all twisted up in there behind the, the insert. But you can find like the Easter pez that come on these in these green poly bags or these purple ones. So in case you want to collect the different color variations on those too. This was a lot of bunny pez. Hopefully this video is helpful. If it is, let me know. I'll keep making these type of more comprehensive videos in the future. Let me know, do you have all the bunny pets in your collection already? I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> or maybe you're like me and you thought you had more of them, but you're like, wait, those are like slightly different? Like what? Like why didn't I pick that up at the store? <laughs> I used to go to Target once a week back in the early 2000s. Why didn't I pick up that bunny? <laughs> so I'd love to hear from you though. My next video will be the live stream on Saturday, so don't forget about that. I love when you guys can join us on the live stream because without you guys watching us and interacting with us for the live streams, it's just like me sitting here in the studio talking to myself. <laughs> and that's not as much fun as, you know, talking and interacting with you guys. And plus, usually we unbox a lot of new pets that we get in the mail. And not just new pets, but vintage pets and all, all types of years of pets. So that's a lot of fun. And then we also talk about, you know, what's happening with pets lately or new releases or what I'm up to during the week. Those are my favorite topics that we usually talk about every week. And so Saturday, 10 a.m. Central here on YouTube is a live stream. And uh, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you Saturday. Bye. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nowhere.